I've got good news and bad news. All right, give me the good news. The good news is my children got what? you a gift. Read the card first. Thank you, Adam, for building the raft at the cabin. Mo. <laughs> That's awesome. Summer shirt. Wow. I don't have any short sleeve shirts. All right, what's the bad news? The bad news is one of us has to go up to the trampoline, clean off the bird crap, put them up. On three. One, two. You to steer, he can knock any boat, he will teach you to float, knows his way around the queue and the bonfire too. Adam Holman is the cottage coach. Today I'm visiting Will and Larissa. They bought their cottage this past winter and their plan is to fix it up a little and rent it out when they aren't using it with their family. They've recently put in a new dock, but their waterfront needs some more love. Our first order of business is to figure out what to do with all these boats. Wow, that's a lot of boats. Yeah, they have two kids. They have somewhere to keep all these, or just leave them here on the beach? Well, they have a canoe rack. No. Yeah. This is their canoe rack? This is their canoe rack. You look like my grandfather's sawhorses. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I guess we're building the canoe rack. So the design is simple, and it will accommodate canoes or kayaks. It'll be slightly elevated, so everything will be kept up off the ground. <laughs> nice sketch, eh? The foundation will be four concrete deck blocks, and the structure will be built with pressure-treated wood. With my 2x6 board placed on top of the block, I know I need to cut my 4x4 at exactly 7 and 3 quarters. I measure my canoe and I know it's going to hang three feet over. So I'm taking my two by six, I'm measuring three feet for one side, plus my four by four, plus three feet on the other side, which is six foot, four inches. I'm going to cut four of these and tack them together. All right, now that I've cut all my two by sixes, I'm going to attach them to my four by fours using leg bolts. Now this part is gonna take a little bit more time and planning. I know my canoe is my tallest boat, so I'm measuring it as a reference point to determine the height of my other braces. Let's cut the wood. Fire in the hole. I'm clamping my four x four in place while I screw in my leg bolts. Don't worry about being totally level yet, we'll get to that soon. All right, for my second row, I'm gonna cut it on a nice decorative angle. A few extra hands at this part of the build is never a bad thing. I can't use my level on this because the ground's not level, so I'm gonna measure up from each side. 21 and a quarter. What do you know? Let's get the bolts in. You know what, I'm gonna cut a little piece of four by four to go in the center and give this a little bit more bracing. All right, let's do the top one and we'll do the same decorative cut. Okay. That's rain coming. Here comes the rain. You guys should hide. Hide, 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 hide. hide. You know what? A little bit of rain never hurt anybody. You just gotta wait it out. I'm taking a quick measurement to make sure I'm level on both sides. Then I'm gonna reinforce the center with deck screws and build the exact same thing on the other side. Adding these three inch deck screws around the leg bolts will prevent our boards from twisting and turning. While I was building my first side, I pre-cut the wood needed for the second side. Now, all I have to do is put it together. 
I'm dressing up the bottom of the blocks with some mulch. Now this will hide any leveling you need to do. And Cynthia is coating the cut ends of the board with a pressure treated sealant for added moisture repellent. Wow, it turned out amazing. It cleans up their waterfront. You know what we should do? We should go for a paddle. And so ends another productive day at the cottage. Watch as I remove my boots and leave the rest of the crew in my wake. We'll see you next time.